Okay, we're sitting here with Jordan of the Ready Set. The Vans Warped Tour just started. How's it going so far? It's going good. The shows have been fun. Uh, the heat has been uh, hot but bearable, so I am I'm enjoying it so far. All right, and this is your first time playing the tour? Yes. Uh, okay, so I know how much you have a love-hate relationship talking about your hair, so what's your secret? Um, secret is hairspray. I think so. I think so. Uh, is that right? What? The secret to my hair. The secret to your hair. Uh, I've heard lots of tender loving care. Lots of tender loving care. care. TLC. That's what this is. An- this is Andy. He plays I see you do it every day. <laughs> yeah, you know, it takes it takes a certain amount of passion, heart, um, dedication, drive. Yeah. And, um, what do you think of the comparison between yeah. you and Christopher Crew? Um, I don't really care anymore because two complete de- completely different types of music, honestly. Um, I think the only comparison is our hair color. That's yeah. probably really it. So. Who are you most excited to see take the stage tonight? Who are you most excited to see? Today? Yes. Um, I've been trying to see Foxy for like a while and heard great things about them. That's always good. Um, I really like watching Less Than Jake. I watched them a couple times so far. Um, Simple Plan killed it yesterday, so I might try to catch them again. I, it's, it sucks because I never really get a chance to watch a lot of bands because we'll like get off stage and then like right away I'll go do interviews and stuff and then I'll go do like a signing and all that kind of stuff. So I'm usually pretty busy during the day. These guys get to go and watch more bands usually than I do. So, so uh, Love Like Woe went platinum. Mm-hmm. Did you expect it to do that? Not really, no. I, I thought it may be at very most like in a perfect world. Like I maybe thought it could if it did well on the radio maybe it could go gold or whatever and um, the crazy thing is it took like months and months for that to happen and then like it took two months for it to go from like gold to platinum so I was just like blown away by the whole thing it's really really crazy and honestly that kind of thing just makes me want to work harder for the next the next like song the next album and everything so, uh, really cool. Young Forever is now available on iTunes where else? Um, iTunes, is the, iTunes is the big one I mean that's pretty much like the main way for, for fans to sell music now but it is going to be on uh, an EP that's coming out I think shortly after Warp Tour in the in the fall so um, we only have a bunch of other brand new songs so uh, a recent video contest to promote uh, Young Forever yes. ended today uh, did you pick the winners for that yet? not yet we are in the process now of going through and um, finding the uh, finding the, the my, my favorites but the ones I've seen so far are really sick uh, people go crazier with those things than I would have ever thought like people take so much time to do those it's like super super amazing what's the best one that you've seen um, I don't really know. It's really hard to say. I mean, the cool thing about it is it's one of those contests where the rules were so, like, vague. Like, you can literally do whatever you want. So, like, there's so many different things people did that they're just, like, whole different opposite ends of the spectrum. So there's, there's a lot to, to pick. Okay. What advice do you have for future aspiring artists? Future aspiring artists. Hmm. Do you have any advice for featuring aspiring bass players? Bass players? I don't know. I'd say by working with you, just putting yourself out there for real. And, uh... Found him. Found him. Yeah. Around. Found him there. He, did. he kind of just picks me out. He's like, you. So there he is. Play. But I did this. I said, come here. It's a lot. It's a lot more hard work. A lot of leg work now. You have to get out there and tour yourself. Yeah. And that's what he was always really good at. Was booking shows, yes, and making sure yeah. that we weren't just sitting down somewhere waiting for something to happen. Pretty much, just put everything you have yeah, into whatever you want to do musically. Like you have to literally throw your entire life in it and don't don't go halfway with it. You gotta just kind of like jump out there and take it if you want it. Have fun and have a positive attitude towards yeah. everyone around you. Yeah. Be nice. Give hugs. What's the craziest fan story that you've had? Um, craziest fan story. Usually it's pretty tame. Like, there's not anything that's ever really, like, terrified me or anything. Like, just anything super insane. And there's been, like, some fainting and th- things like that and crying, which which I just feel bad about. Uh, I'm not, I don't think I'm worth crying about. But, um, Twitter has all the weird stuff. Twitter's got the weirdest stuff. But, like, I get some of those strange stat replies and things from, from people. But it's really, it's good. But uh, I've gotten some good presents. I've gotten some, some good baked goods, which, um... I don't know. I'm always a big fan of that. So uh, there's been some pretty creative ones, but you know. So you had like a creepy story about like cupcakes on the yeah. in the house. Yeah, yeah. Somebody left some cupcakes, unwrapped cupcakes in my mailbox one day, and uh, didn't eat them, but came with a note. It was a very sincere offering. So. From one of our friends who was in a different state with me at the time. Yeah, yeah. The note was the note was signed from one of my friends who wasn't even like around at the time. So it was, it's a mystery. That's mind, mind boggling to this day. <laughs> So, uh, before we go, do you have anything to say to all the fans? Yes, thank you very much. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching this. Thanks for coming out and checking out the shows. And if you haven't come to a Warped Tour show yet, do it. Because I 
pumps. It's gonna be it's gonna be a good time. He'll have his shirt off. He'll be chilling. <laughs> we'll be chilling. Um, it's gonna be fun. So okay, thank you for taking the time off of closecoffee.com. Thank you.